So here is the final donut. Look how adorable it looks. It is literally a space donut and it smells amazing too. Good morning everybody. Today's video is extra special because today I am going to be making space donut bath bombs. We are rolling right along with the theme of August's launch, which is space. And if you guys remember, I have a video of me making some space soap. You can check that out right up here. But included with that launch will be two bath bombs. Today's video will show you how I make one of those and it's the space donut bath bomb. And I'm gonna be trying a few different things with this bath bomb. I'm really excited to try a different glaze technique. I was inspired by Janae Tires of Tires Essentials. She is so, so talented. If you guys wanna check her out, I have her stuff linked down below, but her aesthetic is chef's kiss. She inspires me all the time. I'm also gonna be mixing two different dyes together to see what effect that will give for the final bath bomb. And I'm also gonna be using some amazing holographic mica. So that is just going to be so galactic and perfect for August's theme of space. So if that is something that you are interested in seeing how it all comes together, keep watching. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jerrica. I am the owner and creator of Quench Inc., which is a soap and bath bomb company. And on this channel, I talk all about my products. I talk a lot about my business, a lot of the stuff that I do to keep this business running out of my home. So if that is something that you are also interested in, then please subscribe. And now without further ado, let's go make some space bath bombs. <laughs> So for today's Donut Galaxy bath bomb, I'm going to try a few different techniques. For the main color of the bath bomb, I wanted to pick a really dark color, but I don't really have a black bath bomb dye. Because I don't have anything that dark, I'm going to try to mix Royal Dark Purple up with Blue One dye. And I'm super curious to see what kind of color these two colors make. And hopefully it's gonna be a nice, navy purpley blue we'll see how that turns out but the bath bomb is going to be just this one color and the real magic of the bath bomb is going to be in the glaze itself i did for my last donut bath bomb this beautiful pink cocoa butter glaze i'm going to be doing the same thing but i'm going to be trying a different technique where i have the glaze be a few different colors so that when i dip my donut in it's going to look super galactical <laughs> For that cocoa butter glaze, it's going to be a few different colors. It's going to be Grape Nehi, Flirt, and Aphrodite, all from Mad Micas. And then on top of that, this bath bomb's going to be super extra, but on top of that, I'm going to be sprinkling some of Mad Micas Hollow Graphic Glitter and Fizz Fairy's Moonshine Eco Glitter. So it's going to be a really amazing. To make the really cute donut shape, I'm using the Bath Bomb Press's donut mold, and this is a three-piece mold, and it's super easy to use. And this mold is amazing. Anything that I make that comes out of this mold sells super quick because the donuts that form out of these guys look almost like the real thing. I highly recommend getting this mold if you have a Bath Bomb Press. It's well worth the money. And for the scent of this bath bomb, I'm choosing Island Escapes' Arabelle, which is from their Fairy Godmother collection. And this scent is amazing. There's some really interesting notes. There's top notes of sea salt, ocean mist, pear blossom, middle notes of tier flower, seagrass, water lotus, and bottom notes of agave nectar, coconut milk, and sweet sop. And when I smell this, the pear definitely comes through. And it's a really great scent because you have the sweetness of the fruit with the light breeziness of the sea salt and ocean mist. The result is a relaxing but succulent scent, which I think would be amazing in these donut bath bombs. So I'm super curious to see how this all comes together. Fingers crossed everything is going to work out and excited to take you guys along with me. My first step always when I'm making bath bombs is to measure out my baking soda and if the bath bomb is going to be one uniform color then that is also the step where I add in my bath bomb dye. And since I'm working with dark royal purple, I'm going to be putting that dye in a little bit of water and then adding some really hot water to activate that dye. So I'm now at the step where I'm going to be adding my royal dark purple dye to some water to activate it. And I think I will add just a little bit of the blue to this, just to see how it goes. 
But for my batch, I like to use a full pink scoop, which I think is the equivalent of a quarter teaspoon. But yeah, I just put it in some water and I stir it with this metal chopstick. So I added a scoopful of the royal purple dye and now I'm going to add just a touch of the blue one water soluble dye. So I've combined the blue and the royal purple dye together and in this little candy dish, it's looking quite dark. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more hot water to this and then dunk it into my baking soda. Just gonna pour that in there. So I have the color and baking soda mixing up in my KitchenAid mixer right now on its lowest setting. I'm going to combine all my dry ingredients together and then add that to my baking soda once everything's measured out. So now that the mixer has been going for a bit, the color has really surprised me in a good way. It's like a dark navy purple blue, which is exactly what I was going for. I do know with Royal Dark Purple, it changes. It plays tricks on you, so it's whatever color we get today, it might not be the same color that we get tomorrow. But so far, everything is going good, and let's keep it going. Now we're going to measure out the wet ingredients and then add them to that um, dry ingredient mix. So the color that we have now is this really dark, intense blue. And for those of you who watched me make my royal dark purple waffle bath bombs, you will know that the bath bombs, when I first made them, were very dark blue. So I'm just wondering how this is going to look tomorrow. I'm so curious to see how it all comes together. So I put my mix in a bowl. I'm going to have an embed color of yellow and pink because I think that would look really cool swirling around in the tub. So to fill this mold, I'm going to add a just a light layer of the blue mix and then I'm going to put in an embed color of yellow and I think I'm gonna do a pink right next to it so it looks like that and then I'm going to cover up the rest of the bath bomb mold once it gets near the top I'm gonna press down firmly and I'm gonna continue and then even it out and this is super important if you're working with the donut mold. You want to make sure that there is a hole that the compressor part can puncture through because you'll find that if there is bath bomb mix in between the pressing part of the mold and the main part of the mold, it's going to fill up with bath bomb mix and it's gonna give you uneven bath bombs. So put a hole in the middle. get is a donut. The way I unmold this is I basically just flip it upside down and then let gravity do its thing. Twist it, lift up the bottom part, and then I lift up the round part and you get a perfect donut. So the bath bombs pressed perfectly and the color turned out amazing. I really like it. If the bath bombs were to stay this color uh, until tomorrow, I would be over the moon. But knowing how finicky royal dark purple is, I'm not 100% sure what the color is going to be. Um, but I will show you guys that tomorrow. And then I will also throw in a demo on how these guys uh, dissolve in water. So stay tuned for that and I will see you guys tomorrow once these are dry and we can add the galactic cocoa butter glaze on top. Oh, <laughs> hi. Kale just painted some beautiful Georgian Bay bath bombs. Don't those look amazing? Wow. It's a blue bath bomb day here at <laughs> Punch Studios. <laughs> hey guys, it is the next day and these are how the bath bombs turned out. Thank you. 
As you can see, they turned into this gorgeous midnight blue color, which is exactly what I was hoping for. There is a hint of purple. And remember, this is from mixing royal dark purple with blue one uh, bath bomb dye. And I think it's just the perfect color um, for what I'm trying to go for with this donut bath bomb. Because there's a lot of humidity in the air, there's a little bit of activation showing up in the donut. I don't know if you can see the white bumps there, but that is um, the bath bomb reacting to the humidity in the air but that's okay. I'm gonna be covering it up with the cocoa butter glaze, which I will be making right now, and I will show you how I do that. So to make this cocoa butter glaze concoction, I'm going to be melting the cocoa butter in a heat-resistant bowl like this, and this will be shallow and wide enough to dunk my bath bombs in it. So that's what I recommend you guys do as well. So I have my cocoa butter here in a bowl. I'm going to put this in a water bath so that it melts down to its liquid state. And then once it's in its liquid state, I'm going to split it into the different colors and I will show you all of that um, when it's time. So I'll see you again when this is all melted. And a quick reminder about what we're going to be doing for the glaze part. The glaze is going to be split up into three to four colors. And I say three to four because I'm still deciding whether or not I want to do up to four colors. This is really ambitious. I've never tried this before, so I'm a little nervous about it. But um, hoping to split up the glaze and color them into these three colors. I'm debating adding black to it. Um, we'll see. And then I'm going to include Mad Micah's Into the Mystic Holographic Bio Glitter and then moonshine eco glitter to top it off. And hopefully the result is something magical, but nothing is guaranteed, <laughs> we'll see. For those of you who love sparkle, look at that. Isn't that just insane how beautiful that is? There's the micas and here's the black mica that I'm thinking about using. So I have my colors all split up into my little candy dishes, so I'm just going to add the mica. Oh my gosh, Aphrodite is very sparkly, by the way. I'm very pleased with that color. So I'm just gonna get a, a stirring tool to incorporate all those colors together. All right, so we have our colors and I'm going to dip it into, them all into the glaze. Hopefully it works out. Let me try that again. <laughs> this glaze technique is a little tough because the baking soda it keeps settling to the bottom, so I'm kind of fighting that right now. I might need to wait until this hardens a little bit more before I, I attempt another dip. So guys, upon further attempts, <laughs> my technique isn't exactly working how I envisioned it, but I did come up with something else. <laughs> So I'll show you guys um, what I ended up doing. It's not that much different, but I have my initial bowl here that after I poured all of my colors in is now this really pretty dark purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my bath bomb in there a few times to get an initial coating. And then I'm gonna use my colors to, I don't know if you can see actually. Let me point the camera towards what I'm doing. Use my colors to drip into it while it's still wet. And you can see I get that glazed effect that I was trying to get when, with just dipping it. And yeah, it's still the same effect I was trying to go for, just not the way I thought it was going to be executed. So once that is on there, I get my little mini spoons. I do a little bit of a sprinkling of them. And then I will take my holographic glitter and go over it again. When you came over, my heart was on its way.
So here is the final donut. Look how adorable it looks. It is literally a space donut and it smells amazing too. Arabelle in this bath bomb is absolutely amazing. And even though this wasn't how I initially envisioned getting the glaze on, I'm still super happy with the results. The colors are not as vibrant as I wanted them to be because of my initial uh, mistake and it was a little muddied with the black which i shouldn't have added after all um, that's why the colors for this glaze are a little bit more muted than i want but i think it still works and the glitter oh my gosh look at that i still think the space donut gives me galaxy vibes um outer space vibes i'm super happy with results so i do want to demo these for you guys so i'm going to wait a little bit until the cocoa butter glaze has dried completely and then i will show you how these guys perform in the water so excited <laughs> here is a demo of my galaxy donut bath bombs
So this bath bomb dissolved gorgeously and it definitely has galactic galaxy vibes when it dissolves in the tub. And I was trying to show it on camera. I don't know if it picked it up, but the little sparkles of mica are just so gorgeous. It's on top of the water, but it's also dispersed in the water itself. And it's really hard to, to get that on camera, but it's just enough mica and not too much where you'll feel like if you step out of the tub, you're gonna be covered in glitter. Um, you might have to rinse off some glitter, but it's definitely nothing to be um, too worried about. See, there's a glitter moon right there. Um, I think it just, it's just so mesmerizing. And I really think this effect is because I mixed royal dark purple and blue one together. And then you can see the embed color come out with the pink and yellow. Overall, just a really beautiful, beautiful bath bomb. You guys noticed at the very beginning, Kale had to hold it up because these donut bath bombs are pretty heavy when they first start because of the cocoa butter and also because of the way they're pressed. But it does come to the surface at some point during its bath bomb life cycle. And when it does, it's amazing. It does its little twists and turns. And I was able to get that on camera really nicely. So that's the fun thing about these bath bombs. These donut bath bombs have, have different stages. And I'm just really, really pleased about how it all turned out. Can you just imagine sitting in a tub and this is all in front of you? How relaxing would that be? And the scent of Arabelle is just perfect for this bath bomb. It smells literally heavenly. It's light and breezy with just a hint of the fruit and it's just, it's magical guys, it's magical. I'm so happy, wow. And if you want this recipe with the exact amounts, with all of the ingredients that I used, you can head over to my Patreon, which is linked down below. And speaking of Patreon, thank you so much to anyone and everyone who has chosen to support me there, especially my Bubble BFFs over here. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your support. A lot of these guys are business owners themselves, and I've linked a few of their businesses down in the description box below. So feel free to check them out. I've checked out these businesses, and I am so impressed with all of the amazing, beautiful things you guys are creating. I'm really excited for all of you, and thank all of you so much for choosing to support me. You guys are literally the best. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And until the next video, keep smiling, keep being awesome, keep making amazing, beautiful things like galaxy bath bombs, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>